Hey guys, Liquid here, and welcome to Let's Play Spyro 3, Year of the Dragon. Now this has been a very long time in the making, or not really, um, I started Spyro, Spyro 1 back in June, didn't get around to finishing until December because of my PC issues. Spyro 2 from de December to, uh, oh god, demo, no, 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 we didn't want, okay, I, I should probably learn to freaking play while, while I speak, but, um, I'll go into a lot of big anecdotes and stories about my times with this game, because, um, as you guys know, or as I hope you guys know, because I've, I think I've more than elaborated in, in my past two LPs of the, of, uh, the Spyro series, um, I really like this game, um, I hold this very dear to me, um, I've been reminiscing a lot about it so much lately, I honestly think that on certain levels, I might, I might come to tears, because I honestly would consider this game one of the greatest, the, one of the greatest video games ever, ever crafted by Homo Sapiens. Just throwing that out there. We're gonna have Hunter as our icon, because he's cool. Yay! An evil plot unfolds! All the dragons are all, you know, safe and sound. Look at all these dragon eggs everywhere. Oh! Who are you, mysterious lady? Well, that's not cool. You think the dragon would have some super, super awesome instinctive hearing? <laughs> oh God! <laughs> Oops! <laughs> well, this is awkward. something you don't see every day. We managed to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now, go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Zoe, you sexy bure. A desperate rescue begins. Poor fellas. Where are the eggs? The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. Other side of the world? The forgotten worlds. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Womp womp. Yeah, come on, let's go. Except Hunter. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Spyro 4, A New Hope. The adventure begins. Right. right I believe this will be gameplay now. Nice. Right. Oh man, okay, the controls are a bit different from, uh, Spyro 2. Namely, the R1 and L1 button, L1 buttons being kind of switched around. Is there any way to fix that? Oh yeah, we're gonna hear, hear some pretty awesome. Um, Spyro 2 had the guidebook. In this game, you got the Atlas. Isn't this pretty awesome? So we, we are 1% complete with the game, folks. Or I guess that that would be a one. Or yeah, I guess that would be a one percent complete. It's probably rounding up, but I want to see. 
I wanted to check on something. Like, oh yeah, I wanted to check if I could see if I could uh, switch the controls because I'm so used to it being the other way around. The camera is currently in passive mode. But I'm sure I'll get, I'll get used to it. And one thing of note, um, I don't think you can actually tell that much, but I'm currently playing this on a different emulator than I played the last one, EPSXE. Um, that's just because uh, the one I was using before, PSX, um, was sort of giving me some trouble, so that's why. Um, so there's no really no big difference except that the graphics are actually slightly enhanced, which I actually prefer for it when they're not, because it gives a uh, a more better kind of representation of what the game was. But it's it's all right. Now we actually start the game with um, all the abilities that we had from before the head bash, being able to swim, all that stuff. So our quest is to find all the dragon eggs. Now here's our first one. I believe this was actually one named Isabel. Yep. I think there's like 150 eggs or some of like that, and uh, they all have their own names, and they all have like their own little animations. They're basically just like the dragons of, um, Spyro 1, and, uh, the, um, Whatchamacallits, the talisman slash orbs of Spyro 2. Hello, Zoe. Spyro, to look left or right, press the L2 or R2 buttons. To She's basically just going to tell us about the camera. Which is more or, less, more or less the same, except that the shoulder buttons have been kind of switched around. Which I can always just switch to change it on my, change it on my own. Little oh, Bianca. The eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back up that hole you came through. Hmm. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. Besides, even if you could find an egg, our expertly trained armies will dispose of you and take it back. Do I make myself? I like to imagine that she went to, went into egg, every single I level in the game and hit hand angry. hand hid and every single orb herself. I'm angry. Or will I, baby? Oh, come here. Mmm. Bianca's the keeper. She's, she's a feisty one. Now, this is the first world of the, of the game, Sunny Villa. But, um, we're not gonna go in there yet. We're just gonna explore around the home world. And I'm just gonna, like, you know, check things out. So this place, this place is awesome. And, uh, over, over there, you can see our good old friend Moneybags. Still being a dick, as always. And this time, this time, he's even, he's a madman. Look at that. He has a live kangaroo captive, and he's going to sell her off as a slave. How evil is that? It's pretty evil, if you ask me. I just want to go over, I'll go over my history with this game, basically. Um, when I first got my PlayStation, right, right, um, I was like, what, like eight years old, I think. Um, I, I didn't actually have a game console myself, like, the only vi the games I played, uh, I played at, like, a friend's house. Um, let's not talk to Hunter yet, let's go over here and chill, chillax and see all these other levels, or explore the world. Now there's Hunter again. I see an egg at the bottom of this lake. I would go get it, but I don't want to get my fur all wet. Maybe you could get it. You can dive on... And die, blah blah. blah. It's little tutorial stuff. And um, Your game camera oh, hello. Is currently in passive mode. Oh. This mode requires you to control the camera yourself and moves more slowly. If you, if you like, like, I, I can, can change the, the game, game camera, camera to add active mode. Active active mode. mode. The camera moves much faster. Okay. Let's see, that's fine. Well, yeah, for um, Christmas of 2000, my folks got me a um, a Sony PlayStation and um, a couple games, namely this, um, Spider-Man on the PlayStation One, and Crash Team Racing, and uh, I don't want to talk to anyone yet. I don't want to like 
activate any weird stuff. I just want to collect some gems and whatnot. And, and on this game, some of the levels are actually kind of like locked off until you get a good number of orbs. Or, uh, eggs. Speaking of eggs, there's actually one right here. Bam! Liam. And, um... The reason I, I had gotten, um, Sp Spyro 3 was because, uh... I think, um, I, like, played Spyro at, some Spyro at a friend's house, and I fell in love with it, right? I thought it was... That's... I thought, I thought it was awesome. Um, I played some Spyro 1. And so I think, like, I gave my folks a Christmas list saying, um, Spyro on it, basically. So we gotta come back there later. Tax task for Sparks. Hmm. Whatever that be. And, um, lo and behold, the folks got me, um, Spyro Year of the Dragon. Um, and, uh, on videotape, there was a, basically, Nintendo 64 kid moment, you know, the whole, Nintendo 64! There was a, on videotape, I believe, I freaking went crazy, um, when I got, uh, when I saw that I had Spyro 3. I went mental. It was awesome. My dreams had come true. And I remember playing it. I, I don't think I had a memory card at the time, so I actually think that most of the time I would actually just um, play the first, like, level, or, like, the first, like, world, like, home world or whatever, like, over and over again, basically. And, um, I think I eventually did get a memory card and beat it, but, um, I have a much greater, like, like, nostalgia or whatever for this early stuff. Okay, get the... Yeah, there we go. How many orbs are there, actually? Let's see if I can find out. 148. That was close enough. I said 150. All right, so you can actually bring bring select pressing select actually will uh bring up the uh atlas as well. It's always good. All right, let's let's come over here and to talk to the Huntress. Yo, Spyro, I just found one of those portal thingamajigs that leads to a different world. What? You'll have to glide to get across to it. Whoa, bro, man. Then press the X button again while you're... I'll try that out. Right. Hunter wants us to glide, so glide we will. Whoosh. I saw something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hovering. To hover, just press the triangle button at the end of your glide. Will do. First, actually, let's go over here and get these gems, which Hunter's actually probably going to complain at us for missing it, but, um, oh well. I think I remember um, when I was first playing this, I could never like hover in time, and I was getting like really frustrated with myself. Freaking uh, Hunter's got Spyro 2 syndrome. Freaking uh, you know our our cause is the same, right? Yet he's still holding off on me. You know he's still hiding eggs. You bastard! This is a super fly power up, Spyro. Whenever you walk through any power-up that looks like this one, it will allow you to fly for a while. Thumbs up. And, um, unlike Spyro 2, you don't have to, um, get, a. Uh, you don't have to, like, kill a certain number of enemies before you can use a power-up. Which is very nice. And like how Spyro 2, um, 
really made use of like a lot of like mini games and whatnot. This game is quadruple times that, right? Because not only does this game have like hub worlds and then levels in the hub worlds, it's got levels in the levels in the hub worlds. Spiroception. I remember actually playing this this bit right here with a friend and um we were talking about how um Spyro could uh I told this story in um I think it was in Spyro 1 or No we all the all the eggs in this place, nice. It was either in Spyro 1 or 2, I was, I, was, I told the story. Spyro! My my how funny See how money bags his voice is different? I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. I, don't, I think I do prefer the Spyro Table voice, but it's all right. I slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Lovely woman she is. Seems to be So so you made a nice deal to become a slave owner. Nice. I'm getting paid a fortune. Look at that kangaroo just sitting there. Locked up. <laughs> Sheila her the Sheila's her name, eh? A lot of trouble for that poor sorceress. Hi, mate. I suppose I could act Accidentally let the kangaroo escape if you were to pay me, say, a small fee. You're a bad man. You're a bad man. Sure, I'll let her go. Ah, Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. <laughs> your kind hearted nature might be your downfall someday, but for the time being, it's making me rich. If Spyro had fingers, he'd be sticking the big old middle finger at you, buddy. I'll get to my freaking friend story in a, in a second. I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. As good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. After all, I'm just doing my job. Ho! Oh! You go, Sheila. I reckon you'd be one of them dragons, then. Yeah, named Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof, dragons used to live here? Didn't you know? They say it was over a thousand years ago, I think. And they just left? Yeah, and the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well... I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit any time you like. Will do, Sheila. Now the big thing, the big kind of thing that um, I believe Insomniac kind of promoted with this game, as it like separating it from the predecessors, is that Spyro is not the only character that you play as. Um, each homeworld has got a different kind of other creature or whatever, and they've all got their very different, unique um, areas that are very like atone atone to them and like some of them like aren't really even like platformery. Let's see. All right, I was making sure uh something. <laughs> are we missing like a gym or something of like that? Yep, we are. I wonder where do where you be. But anyway, my story freaking uh. I remember I was playing some Spyro 2 and I think a friend was watching me. You know, I, I think I remember like saying something like, "How is it that Spyro can can, can breathe underwater so long?" And um, my friend was all like, "Well, you see, like he he was like a very big know-it-all type of person." And I remember him being all like, "Well, you see, dragons can can breathe on the water for like a very long, long time," <gasps> and then proceeded to uh, hold his breath for like 20 seconds or whatever to demonstrate how long dragons can hold their breath. Look at you! Yay! 400 out of 400. Let's go over and um, let's go into Sunny Villa, the first world that people probably go into. Do it! Whoosh! 